Night Flight continues with Bob and Doug McKenzie. What's a toke? We know what a toke is. That's what uh, that's what do. heads do. Yeah, <coughs> potheads do no that. No way. Here. This is a toke, and it's we drink not beer. special. We drink beer. His is special because it has a secret compartment up here. You'd think that was his brain up there. Right? Don't take it off, eh? It's not. It's a secret compartment. His is special because he's he has to wear earmuffs to keep it on. Because he's like a whale. He has a hole in the top of his head and beer shoots out <coughs> and up the top when he's had too much. So his muffs keep his toque on. That's eh? not true. But eh? it's toque. Everyone in you listen to USA Night Flight in America, it's toque. Maybe they call it toque here. You don't know. Oh, then we'll have to ask. Do you call it toque or toque? Yeah. What? I can't hear. Can you? No. TV only works this way. It doesn't come back the other way. Yeah, there's people at home going, take off, hosers, take off, looking right at their TV. How take do you off. know? Because we do it at home when we're watching shows that are bad. That's true. Well, that's not like this is bad, eh? But, well, oh, jeez, I dug myself. Right okay, in. okay, next question, please. If you go out with your toque or toque, toque. and forget your earmuffs, is it okay to wire donuts to your head <laughs> instead of earmuffs? Yeah. Beauty idea. Beauty. Wire donuts to your head. Yeah, fresh hot donuts would work good to keep your, your ears warm, but cold, r stale donuts would be bad. But donuts with holes in them, your ear could come through, eh? So it, it get cold. But krillers... Yeah, jelly donuts would yeah, be beautiful. Yeah, jelly donuts Fill would be Fill them beauty. up. Yeah. And, uh, you could put your ear right into the jelly. Yeah. And have a straw going around there and, like, drain it and then... Suck be... jelly out of your ears. <laughs> It'd be beauty, eh? <laughs> Does Guy Caballero, the president of the network on which the Great White North is broadcast, exert any creative control over the content of the shows, or is that left up to the Mackenzies? Boy, what a mouthful, eh? Uh, no. Guy... No. Yeah. He never no. tells us what to do, eh? No. We, uh, he... No. Sometimes he says, when we have a real good show, Hey, hosers! Do a sequel, you know, like part two. We were going to do that, like Superman part one and part two. Yeah, we did a show on shortcuts. Yeah. So it was real good. It was my topic. Yeah, so and it was too long for one show, eh? So he was going to do a sequel, eh? And then when we came back the next day, we forgot that about our first show. Yeah. And we just went on as though it never happened. And then uh, no one ever said anything about it. Yeah. We remembered like a week later and thought it was too late to fix it up. See, we get paid like just a little, eh? Because in the great white, in the great pink north here, there's like one tenth the number of people in the lower 48, eh? Like you got 240 million, we only got 24. So our show's two minutes longer, which is one tenth as long as your show. It's like happy days, eh? <laughs> Take off. <laughs>